Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bald and Bonkers show. Join your hosts Christopher Mole and Dakota Franson as they take you on a wild ride through the world of the supernatural with a humorous twist that'll have you laughing and shaking in your boots at the same time. From ghosts to aliens to cryptids, no topic is off limits on this show. And the best part? You don't have to be a believer to join in on the fun. So grab a drink, kick back and tune in every weekend for new episodes. And if you want even more of the Bald and Bonkers experience, be sure to subscribe to our Patreon page for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Let's get weird. Oh, and for the whiners out there, viewer discretion is advised. There you go, you entitled pricks. How's it going? That, see you, changing that last night. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if, honestly, if you ever meet Dakota in real life, I want you to like, Slowly strangle him, you know. That's terrible. <laughs> then that to me. Hey, you know? you're the one that was obsessing about it ever since I told you about the gig I have in Brazil. Well, you were the one that was going on about the women in Brazil. Oh, oh yes, he's going hell on yeah. about beautiful bikinis and stuff like that, and how he wants to go there, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I, how like, have been... you seen that women? My God, Ooh, yeah. Mm. Look at all the new people that's in the chat, and, I, and I'm going to have to say something. I'm going to say that video. That video you did last night, the one about spotting fakers and stuff like that, that was a brilliant video, by the way. Well done doing that. And I must say, there was a video needing to come out about that because there is a lot of folk out there that just make up the biggest pile of utter pish that I've ever heard by mankind. That's my Scottish, by the way, if any of an American. Because people I know that do this UFO stuff all the time and they talk a pile of utter pish about the UFO place. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, the story is never freaking consistent. They just mm. they try to make it so that they're like they fulfill some sort of messiah complex, like I said. Okay. If you see that shit, run like hell. Look, the folk that I've watched, right, and I'm not going to name names, right? But this guy is an exorcist that's battled with Satan himself and won. And he's fought with the, the evil greys and won. And now he's, he's considered a high up being in the intergalactic command. To that I say, you're talking pash. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, look who's in the chat there. We've got Drew's Abandoned Paranormal Vlog there, Scotland. Welcome, Drew. It's alive tonight, Drew. Yes, we're uh, actually alive. We've got all the new people. We are, these are all coming for Elena's. I'm a correct yeah, yeah, there's little uh, telegram groups they have set up for the uh, Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection event that takes place this October, the 20th yeah. through the 23rd. Giving Danny a little shout out just in case she watches us. Love you. Come back. Let us know when you're ready. Come back on the show and don't injure yourself next time, woman. I've got a question. See for the events. See for the events. Do people actually dress as aliens? Because I've seen it in TV with these events and they all dress as like aliens with like big tentacles. Not from stuff. not from what I saw. I'm I'm doing everything I can to make it down there because yeah, I'll say it. There's it's individuals that what the? Hope you're ready to get your ass kicked on GTA. Ask him, is he's waiting for GTA. He's waiting for GTA. So I'm going to enjoy it. on Monday night, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see an ass kicking event, please come on to the Xbox Live, and you will see an ass kicking event. But anyway, get yourself I, a capture card so you can just stream it, man. I, I think I might buy one. Actually, I might buy one and stream it onto the old Ghost Squad Scotland. But honestly. That video last night was good, and you were you you've been needing to make a video like that for some time because there is so many people in the UFO field that have said they've been abducted and they've not been. They've watched somebody else talking about it, and then they say, "Yeah, they take they, that story, they add, Aye, add a change couple more twists here and there." Not, not, gra <laughs> not granted. There's situations where the abduction or encounters play out very similar it does happen but when you you got to really think about it for abduction scenarios if they were to follow the same mo for every single abduction that invites a lot of room for them to get lazy and to get caught 
what I admire about the story that you were talking about last night as the person I'm not going to name names, but it was it was quite funny because they had taken the stories of two different people and put them into one. Yeah, and you actually found the original video. So mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, moving on from that, moving on. Yeah, from I mean, yeah, I was like, we we already dealt with that. We're, we're done, we're moving on. You know, we're addressing the situation because it happened. Yeah. My issue is that it, it, it was going to lead to some I, very messed up situations. That's why I get riked up. I'm I not get, doing it to spread any hate. I'm just saying, do not do that. Otherwise, you're going to get screwed. I, I mean, look, I'm going and to say this way. to it. No, I'm going to, I'm going to say this to you, right? I'm going to say this to you. There are some people out there that talk the absolute art of pash. Chris. I, what? Did you not just hear that? But the guy's mentioning something that was like a. Did you, did you not hear that? Please tell me someone else just heard that. It's like a lifetime fascination. I'm coming for me again. No. I wish I could do like a weird thing and beat me up. Oh, we made a mistake. Well, Let's get out of here. You know? All right, but look. I was watching two guys the other night there, and it was just ridiculous. They were going on about the greys and about how the greys are so good. Don't get me wrong. I know there is types of greys in the UFO field that are okay. That, Like Elena's, in Elena's book that I've mentioned and stuff like that, right? But this was getting a bit ridiculous. This, they, were, they were saying that they were doing bad things on Earth so as they could help humanity and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh. I was just sitting watching them, and I was like... Kind of lasted nearly 40 seconds. I couldn't watch it anymore. I just I will, couldn't watch it anymore. I will say this. I will say this. Those who choose paths of destruction, self-serving, as they would say. Yeah. In a way, they do contribute to the light. Because you wouldn't find the need for evolution unless there was a problem. But they, they Assholes have their purpose, too. As annoying as th that may be, you would not try to better something if the yeah. situation was good, right? You know, it's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Something broke, we gotta but fix it. But what I'm getting to, what I'm trying to see is what I'm trying to see <laughs> is <laughs> good, good one, dude. Very good well one. done. Very well done, honestly. <laughs> No, but what I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get to is where, where people are just taking like random stuff. They're watching the people that are actually talking the truth, to Lena, and they're watching other pe people, right? And they're taking wee bits of that, and then they're turning it into their own kind of thing. And then people are going in there and they're believing this, mm -hmm. right? And then when you try and call them down for it to say, "Listen, that's a total bullshit," what you're talking about, you're the one that gets attacked. Okay, uh -huh. I mean, whereas. They shouldn't be doing that because, in theory, it's, it's spreading misinformation. You know, there is a way that they can be busted. I will say this. Yeah. YouTube analytics, right? Goes to show you how much people are actually watching, what sections they're watching the most, all that. If you mm -hmm. were to find a subject that was spreading misinformation, Chances are, if you got the right people put together, yeah, they can combine their YouTube analytics, line up the timeline when certain videos came forward, yeah. and pinpoint exactly every single step. They don't expect yeah. now the people spreading bullshit don't expect people to do this because that would require a lot of work. But that's also why I say if you're going to be talking about this type of subjects. Be prepared to present yourself like you're getting ready for a court case, as annoying as that may be. I know. I will say this, right? Tech talks awfully bad for it. Oh, yeah. Tech talks awfully, awfully bad for it. There's people in there saying, I am from the Galactic. I was watching this the other night there. I couldn't stop laughing. I'm sorry for the Galactic Federation because it's it's not their fault. And it's folk like this that should be banned over there. I'm from the Galactic Federation of Light. I can tell you your future for only forty nine ninety nine donations. <laughs> Did you see it? there's somebody there's people out there actually copying our friend Cassie's? Oh yeah. I've noticed. I went 
I, I and it was actually it was it was Drew in the chat there that actually t- told me about this, and that's absolutely disgraceful. Because the, the, she sent me the screenshot of the the person that wanted like money off her to tell her the future and stuff like that, and the guy only had like a hundred followers or something like that. Cassie's guy, I think he's got about what seven million now, something like that, something ridiculous. Easy. I mean, the dude managed. He talks a lot about alternate dimensions and stuff like that. He actually got a reach. He was reached out to by Pokemon to promote a game. It's like you don't get that yeah. type of advertising opportunity yeah. unless you start g- gaining some traction. Hey, honestly, I'm not crashing on him. You know, as someone who's a public presenter myself, I have to say, you're know, good on him. But nevertheless, well. Remember, remember, I tell you. Remember, I bet I tell you about somebody on TikTok. It was that woman. She was speaking in all the kind of weird language and all. That. You get the one I'm talking about. She sings. Yeah, the bald headed one. You can, the one I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Well, well, I was just because she's bald doesn't mean she's crazy. Nope. Wait, well, just wait for this. Just wait for that. This is this is a cracker. I was in a live through the week. I think it was Wednesday night. I was watching her live, and she was she was talking about the Galactic Federation and saying how that they're, they're evil. And they're here to destroy mankind. What and I'm resource like, Rick and Morty? Mm. And I says, I that's that's what I say. <laughs> that's strange. That I says, I say, I said, I says, that's you're talking absolute bullshit, right? And she banned me for TikTok. Says, of course. Right. And I'm watching everybody, she maybe maybe about six hundred people and they're watching comments. And they're all like, yeah, the Galactic Federation, like, they're all evil, they're all this, they're all that. And that's her. She's sitting there saying that. And you should see the money she was making. She was getting, like, gifts, 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 gifts. And all these people are getting, like, blinded to the fact that she's talking bullshit. Mm -hmm. And it's... I just don't know. Honestly, I, I honestly don't know what's happened to the world now. Everybody... I honestly believe that, you know, we all go to stop and think that the world's gone crazy. Truth be told, we're just becoming a lot more aware of what's been going on this entire time. And it's scaring the fuck out of people. <laughs> it, it, it is. Change Change can be scary. It can be a good thing, but in the same light, it's scary to really process. I mean, think about it. Every generation has to face that reality where parents are getting frustrated at their kids and they have to realize the kids are being brought up in a world that no longer exists in the parents' eyes yeah. as the parents know it. That I'm the just world, going from I don't know, man. It's the world has it's changed changing so much at a rapid rate. It has changed so much, even in the last five years. Right. The world has Alone. changed. I it's, it's what's happening in the new in the United States. It's happening in the new in the world, which we're not going into. It's just and what's happening with all these pronouns and stuff like that. But people are called that, and I, I just oh, dear Lord. and I'm like, oh dear Lord! Oh, you just opened uh, one of the uh, biggest can of worms right now. Oh my God. how how just... I I kind of get my head around right that. I, I kind of get it's, my head. It's like mind boggling. It's like it's like it's like the most. I'm going to say this right, and you can burn me at the stake, but I think it's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I honestly I think it is. It's the most stupidest thing. You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion? I no, see I'm myself just... as a my pronouns. I'm a turnip. A game brought up in the seventies, and now he. I gotta. I can only imagine. I was brought up in the seventies. I was brought. No, I was reading. I reading Drew's message. Uh, No, the whole pronoun situation. I'll be honest. I never even heard of this individual that's being the center of focus until this shit stirred up, and it's just that over fucking alcohol. It's like, I'm sorry, the alcohol is usually a product about of some... What's, what's it's, this? Is this inv- something that's happened? Involving the pronoun situation. Yeah. Oh, right. Aye, you're talking about the beer. Yeah. Aye, right, right, aye. Aye. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll, I'll be honest, the type of 
things that these people are trying to push forward, they don't realize these drugs, these chemicals that alter the body's hormones mm -hmm. kill mm -hmm. people. They can yeah. kill. Yeah. And certain individuals, they have to go through mental health evaluations before even being touching this stuff just to make sure they can handle it. So if this thing is so great for those in the woke culture who are trying to push this agenda, especially on mutilating young children, tell me why is it that so many trans individuals are turning back to what they originally were? Now, if that's something you want to do as an adult, that's your fucking choice. Yes. Why is like, it that so many of them are turning guns on themselves? Yeah. We are yeah. the trans movement is becoming a cover for self harm. Yes. Look, there's nothing wrong in being homosexual, right? And there's nothing wrong in in being trans, right? But it's when it comes to all this, when they try and put it on others, they try and put it on others, and and it's getting ridiculous now because there's actually a case that's happening in the new, which I'm not going to mention that much about it, where a trans woman, well, a man dressed as a woman, um, is actually threatened to shoot the place up in America. Did you see that TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's going on about that. He says he can get into like a public bathroom, right? And you bear no stop me because I'm taking my Glock with me. I mean that's. I mean, that, first off, it, you just gotta go to the. If you gotta go to the bathroom, just fucking go. Yeah. Oh, why just do you have to go. advertise it? it? Why do they have to advertise it? I they can go into bathrooms, but why do they have to advertise it? Again, again these are cries. Yeah. The the Man, uh, there is oh, such a mental health situation going on right now mm -hmm. that the masses are in a mode of self destruction and. Damn near every single political movement has been infiltrated by Nazi motivations. All this shit we're seeing right now, cultural appropriation. I'm sorry, that's fucking segregation. It's terrible what's happening. It's, exactly. That's what's it? What's that? What's that? It's all from. It's a, form of it's a form of sterilization and self-destruction. Yeah. Again, this is shit the Nazis pulled, and they realized that people are so neurotic yep. when they're in a state of fear and a state of uncertainty, they'll make up their own stances when they're confronted, which is why I put out that video yesterday. The second that they're confronted, they're going to get hostile. People are going to try to appease the so motivations, what? and everything is going to, meant to bash, make it to where we bash in our I, own skulls, basically. He, he, I am fair horse. I mean, like, look, that's what's wrong nowadays. They need to be shocked, they need to be told, and that's what's wrong with the younger generation. I'm sorry if he's are watching younger generation, but he's really, he's are getting away with far too much. These are getting away with far too much, and I I just don't know. Anyway, did you see? Did you see that with the talking about pronouns and stuff? I can't remember. I think it was a, a school in America where the, some of the pupils are cats, and they're allowed to behave as cats. And they have to have litter boxes in the corner of the classroom. Yes, they they actually go to the corner of the classroom and do the toilet in front of everybody, mm -hmm. and they go to sleep on the desks. I mean, where's it going to end? I think this needs to stop. It needs to stop. Somebody needs to stand up to this and stop this. Because it's just going to get ri ridiculous beyond ridiculous. Have you seen the number of these young ladies who are openly admitting to having sex with dogs? Yes, I've seen that. I'm sorry. If I saw that shit, I'd have to put down the dog. There's actually a woman that's it's actually been arrested for that in the United States. She was a TikToker, a right, and she's been arrested. Uh huh. Yeah, because it's... she had she puts out all these messages across social media, thinking that she's not going to be tracked, saying that it's at least thirteen different dogs. That oh, she just gets into the position and they just go for it. Um, mm -hmm. hello. I, 
I will say that's right, right, and I'm going to bring up TikTok right here, and maybe Zach Burger, Burger and the guy that owns YouTube and all that, they'll probably be happy for this. I do think that TikTok needs to be restricted. I've, there's too much on there. There's too much like people getting away with stuff. I know there's freedom of speech and stuff like that, but it's getting ridiculous now. It has to be police, mayor. And, I mean, they're talking about banning it in the United States, what I've heard. It's... They're not going to gain enough traction because quite I read that was misinformation. They had litter boxes in case they were locked down because of a shooter. Well, yeah, several of these classrooms are also having emergency buckets right. for them to go in that That's have right. blankets to cover up. That. Yeah, because shootings in itself is another thing and I Granted, I agree that something needs to be done because no kid needs should have to prepare to see their friends get gunned down. All I'm going to say is this, right? What do you think the world will look like when the young ones, the now, right, on TikTok and doing all this kind of stuff, have kids of their own, if they have kids of their own? What will the civilization look like? It's about as cringeworthy as my 16-year-old cousin, the one who was put responsible for a car accident, just getting her driver's license. And yes, that accident, Chris. Yes. No. <laughs> it's... Yeah. Now, granted, I was in a car wreck when I was in driver's ed. Thought I could almost killed an old lady. I was not found at fault. I shouldn't be laughing at this. But I've got a vision of him driving along with no way they stuck to the hood of the car. No, she pulled out in front of like six lanes of traffic and I couldn't get stopped quick enough. Hmm. But it's but but still is and a lot of these kids, you know, speaking of the younger generation, the second they get out of high school, they're starting to realize quickly how much they've been screwed over. Because the teachers just don't care. Look at the number of teachers in fucking Texas that were trying to, that were giving students child pornography yes, to justify I pedophilia. I seen that. I, I mean, seen that. I seen something that disgusted me the other day. They asked, oh, you go, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I understand having to, uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but having that, to have that discussion with young kids. So they know to identify when something is wrong so they can reach out and get help. It's not done enough. I understand it. But you they were trying to justify. Did you see what the UN, the United Nations, wants to do? What's that? Including the child. They're saying that they should legalize it. Yeah, because a number of them... You know, It's getting ridiculous. It's absolutely yeah. disgusting. It really is. And something needs to be done. Something needs to be done quick. I mean, did you... I'm going to bring this up. Everybody keeps... I don't know why folks send this to me. Who's that singer? Who's that... Oh, what's his name? It, he, he dressed up in the big balloons. It, when he went, it was a big balloon dress. Oh, Sam Smith. Have you seen his latest video on stage? Yeah, how all of his dance moves are satanic. I'm sorry. If you actually looked into okay, the term Satan, all that means is adversary. Yeah. Genuine Satanism, the ones everybody's trying to point their finger at, mm -hmm. is meant to be a middle finger to the main powers to be. To technically, be honest, yeah. I'll, I'll say technically, what we talk about when we talk about disclosure, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Rallying up the troops so we can sh shove a big middle finger to the powers that be. Technically, we're the Satanists in that situation. Yeah, I do think I do think there's a lot of corruption now, and I do think, and this is getting into like the Hollywood side of things, and is like the Illuminati takeover. I think that's not even the Illuminati, the dark presence that's in Hollywood that's that's controlling everything. And I think that's what they've done to that Sam Smith. That Sam Smith used to be a really good, well, still was a really good singer, but he was a totally different person until he went there and he just changed. But then again, all that that's happened, the new on stage dressed as the devil and stuff like that, you've got to, this is what I've got to say, this. 
a lot of rock stars do outrageous things like that. So mm-hmm. as it gets people talking about them, so as it, it makes them more famous. Because exactly. I mean? look at us, you're talking about it the new. Get what I mean? So exactly. <laughs> exactly. Controversy breeds an audience. That's why so many YouTubers try to stir up drama. Just try to say, oh, this person is completely fake. Oh, that person is there's this one person that was harassing Elena and them. Yeah. They started posting usernames. I never heard of these individuals. So yeah. naturally, when you start pouring it out, you're only going to be driving up an audience because people are just going to be wondering what the fuck is going on in the first place. Yeah. He kept making references trying to call out people for being gay. Last time I checked, anybody who started following that behavior was a repressed homosexual. Mm-hmm. And he, he probably needs to get some help. Yeah. Look, you're going to get trolls. You're going to get these people that's going to attack you for no apparent reason and all that kind of stuff. Get what I mean? And there is a lot of jealous people out there, Elena. Elena, and I think she's an amazing person. I think she does an amazing job. Elena, get what I mean? Elena, Danny, Alex Collier, Tina, all yes. them. They, they, I've gotten a deeper look at what they've got set up, and it is truly an amazing thing. And yeah. it's where a lot of our new faces have been popping up from lately. Hi, yeah. guys. Hello. Just, just remember, there's we somebody, live up to the bald and bonkers name. They, they're saying in the chat there that they can't see Christine's comments, but I can see them on screen. All right. Let's just check this, guys, because I don't want any oh, baby single do it at Well, we are broadcasting live to both the main channel as well as the archive. Oh, one, that's so what it'll be. We can, we can du- let's, let's, let's double check. That's the first thing I can think of. Oh, shut up myself huh no that's youtube being youtube apparently yeah, it's youtube yeah. yeah unfortunately that that that's something on youtube side and we can't control that so you had a question i've actually i'm going to admit something i've not watched any elena's videos today is there any new news coming out is she get any new news coming out with the galactic federation or anything like that oh yeah she had a very interesting message from the Altians that a lot of people were saying in the chat that they were feeling chills because of the stuff that was coming about. Basically, it's supposed to be a reassuring thing that to understand that we're here. Yes, things are about to be crazy, but you know, we're about to take the next step in human evolution. Yeah. And that's why things are getting so crazy these days. I see there's a lot there's a lot of people been sending me videos. Please, guys, whoever he's you know who you are on Facebook and there's names in the chat there, but they have been sending me messages saying, Have you seen this on TikTok? Seemingly aliens are coming on the 24th or the 25th of this month to save us all. Have you have you seen that? It's all our it's all our TikTok, but you came at TikTok, it's like it's through mm-hmm. shite. Right? Oh, the, the great ones are coming from beyond the what can you fill me in on this? Because am I missing something? The mass influx of sightings, where the Department of Defense even comes out and said that there's a high likelihood of there being some kind of mothership in, nearby that is sending probes to monitor the Earth. What's actually going on is that several arcs that have been implanted throughout the solar system are turning on and yes these probes are being sent out they're fully automated from the sounds of things and it's only going to step up even more it's there is no doubt across any party that something big is coming when do you think it'll happen and that's honest about when do you think it'll be within the next couple years we're going to see something big Really? See, do you, see, this is this is what I'm going to see if they turned up right. Say if tomorrow you turn you turned your TV on your phone on or whatever, and you looked at the window and there was alien ships everywhere. Do you think it would change society as it is the now, or oh, do yeah. you think it would take a wee? I, but what I'm saying is, like, like what we we're talking about before, do you think it would change the younger generation? Do you think it would maybe want to change? See, 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 this is 
a good thing that I can see, right? Aliens turn up, they're really nice. They want to help us. They could maybe our younger generation would think, can something I could go to other worlds and maybe we will become like a society like out of Star Trek, where we want to like explore the universe, where our young the younger generation want to like learn. You, you see where I'm trying to go with this? So is the so is the humans actually explore the universe one day? I'll be honest. I'm hoping that this is a gross overestimation on my part, but for a lot of people, young and old, yes, they're fascinated. They want to see this happen. Yeah. But the way they go to approach it, the way they approach a lot of these events, and disclosure, is it's not coming. It's, it's happening, without a doubt. But they have to drip feed it because both the good and the bad guys agree that if it comes too quickly, people are going to start bugging out. Yeah. That's what we're seeing now. We're going to see this happen. But the mentality and some of the approach that I've been seeing, and I'm going to say this out front, I cannot help but wonder if a majority of the people who attend these audiences, they expect all of the technology that we've talked about elena mm -hmm. myself alex collier it's going to be handed to us on a no, silver I can't platter do that. you kind of did it's like they've tried that, they fun. tried that they tried that push before they they've honestly tried that push before and it backfired horribly. i think and this is my honest opinion i think that's the biggest mistake they could possibly make I think yes, they should turn up and say, like, listen, we'll maybe show you how to build an engine or two so as you can travel to planets which will make it easier for you and stuff like that. And we'll show you how to like, maybe travel places, but you have to try and build technology yourself. You have to try and go down that road to sales so as you can design new technologies. It might take yeah. us four or five hundred years. Yeah. But then but that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to we're meant that is what we're meant to do. One of the criteria for joining the Galactic Federation is that there is a free exchange. Right now, yeah. our world is essentially in a probation period. We're not going to get all the perks right up front. Yeah, They're going to show I, us it. They're going to be more than happy to help us along the way, but we're, they're not going to let us sit on our asses. I, they're going to make like, us put in the work. I think it's like, look at all the technology over the years that people have meant to have designed and it's just disappeared right that's been some bunker somewhere right there'll be technology that humans will invent one day right that's probably more superior than our friends up there and the rights we should share it we should say here would you like the plans for this so you can implement it into your own ships and stuff like that the rights because they would be then the same for us but obviously getting the humans all the technology at once would be a very bad idea very oh, yeah. bad idea. We'd blow ourselves up. We would start a war. I'm telling you, it'd be the most. If you're listening to this Galactic Federation, do not do it. Do not do it. Don't give us all. Have, they have no plan. Just think of, and, you know, let's let's draw a comparison. Okay, you have to realize the first races that are going to be appearing, they're going to be some of the ones that are going to be almost indistinguishable from humans. Yeah. They're going to be able to blend right in. Mm -hmm. This is a transition method. So that way we become more familiar to the idea. Because if all of a sudden we had the one, like the Tengri Tengri, that look like they have squids for heads, that's going to freak out some people. Or we're going to have, say, the Negamook, which are the basis for the invaders out of the Independence Day. Yeah, that's the things. The, Negamook. The Negamook. The Negamook. The Negamook. The Negamook. The Negamook. Mm, yeah, cool. the invaders from the Independence Day movies. They're out there. If they were the first ones to show up, yeah, we're going to freak a little. But you also got to make the comparison. We are the entitled teenagers in this. Yeah. If we start demanding things, if the say like the parental figure starts giving us all yeah. the fancy cars, all the fancy computers just because we ask we're not going to have that attachment that makes it to where we make sure 
we don't break it. We are no what you, I know what you're trying to say here. We are no we are no creating it ourselves. So we don't have the love for this world. If we if we created our own technology, if we were allowed to create our own technology, obviously the, the people on this planet the new don't allow it. It's just engines that run in water and stuff, they people just disappear. If we were allowed to create our own technology, we'd be proud of it. We were like, oh, we are, we are for Earth, and we created this, the the six drive, I'm just making something up, the six drive that goes into a spaceship, and, and we can travel faster than the speed of light. We developed that, right? But if you, if you like a kid, you give them everything, you just keep getting them the best, the best, the best, you're just going to sit there and get stupider and stupider and stupider. Let's face it, you need to learn, you need, we need to learn, we need to grow up, we need to, obviously, by the time it happens, we're too old, maybe you're a wee bit younger, I don't know, but it's the younger generation, okay, I mean, maybe, maybe in our lifetimes we'll see, we'll get to go to Mars and stuff like that, and our holidays or something like that, but it'll be the, what, the younger, younger ones that will travel the stars. But there's also something else that people really need to consider. And this is not me trying to sound negative. This is me coming forward, having seen all sides of the situation and say, this is what's going on. And there's others who can validate me on this. Part of the slow approach, say like the, uh, they have to wait 50 years before they can officially unclassify certain documents. Say, like, JFK as an example. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until Donald Trump was in office that they could undergo review because everybody that was involved with it was either too old to really give a damn, yeah. likely developed Alzheimer's, or dead. Yeah. That's why. And why... Well, here's the thing. Why would we want to wait until that point for information to come out? I don't know. Think about it. Because something is going on behind the scenes. And they know. The people in charge know. They know it is wrong. What they have done. Mm -hmm. But they do not want the consequence. They know it, it's going to get out eventually. But they're wanting to cut ties. So that they can't be brought in for prosecution. Here's something that I was I, may, I was going to ask Elena the next time she was on. Is quite an interesting. Right? What do you think will happen? Right. Right, say they all turn up, right? The the th say three groups of aliens turn up, three different ones turn up, right? What do you think will happen to the world governments? Do you think they'll collapse? Or the governments? Why, why do you think the Ar the uh, ARPO, I believe, the academics, the, the Department of Defense's Office for UFO dis research that they have now? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that everything is formatted? To prepare for war. Because they're going to say that they're bad. And they're exactly. Not. They're going to try to push the narrative. Just like we try to say, oh, the blacks are bad. The Mexicans are bad. The whites are bad. So what they know you, it's going to, they know it works. They know that self degradation of the slightest difference between human beings works. So all of a yeah. sudden we got a bunch of freaky looking aliens coming down. <clears throat> it, see, it's not going to take much if we don't pull our quite, heads out of our asses. See, it's quite interesting you're, you're talking about this because I was watching a, a show on YouTube last night and about how their Project Blue Beam and, and what they're going to do is they're going to do like a fake alien invasion. But in amongst the, the fake UFOs, there's got to be like our technology dropping bombs in cities and then we'll blame it on them. Right? Mm -hmm. Which to say that the good aliens turn up and then we bl we deliberately blow our own cities up and then say, that was them. See, this is what I'm worried for, because maybe the aliens that are there, hopefully they'll turn off the nukes, but they're still conventional weapons that can cause so much damage. This is where you have to be very careful, because I do think that the governments in this world will do anything to keep in power. Will do anything. Iron Fire Horse actually makes a very good point. You can go on to the FBI archives, CIA archives, Black Vault. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of the first documents you'll come across involve what we're talking about now. And it's the way those documents are worded. Contact has already been made with these beings. They look like us. And I'm paraphrasing here, obviously. They Mm -hmm. look like us, except if you were, say, to cut them open, like for an autopsy, because one of them ends up dead, you're going to notice the difference. They don't want to start a war. But they've seen enough of their technology to where if we start shooting, Mm -hmm. we lose that fight. Well, yeah. Because everything they've given us because of say like the eisenhower the great out of trees with the that started around the eisenhower administration mm-hmm. they're not going to give us anything that's better than what they have would they see, no that's... they're going to give us hand-me-downs Aye, they're going to give us the junk that they used like 500 years ago they're going to give us the what only thing... a parent would give to their baby what do you think the medical side of this will be what do you think the medical things that they'll give us? Because I've heard a lot lately about them giving us these special cryopods that will heal your body and stuff like that. Yeah, med beds. Med beds, aye. Like med beds were like, like services. I've got a lot of things wrong with me, guys. I've got like, brittle bone disease and stuff like that. So if I could climb into that, press a button, an hour later I'd be like, oh, great, I'd be dancing about and all that. I'd feel great. Do you think that they'll give us some of that technology? It's already being in development. They're going to start rolling it out very soon. That's why the elite love so nope. long. No? Not, not for the elite. They're, our side is slowly working to bring the, that down here. The experimentation that's going on in the moon bases, the, say like, say like it'd be like in the Doom games, why mm-hmm. all these scientists would want to operate in space. Because the laws of the earth, the limitations and moral and ethical guidelines don't apply up there. They can experiment all they want and not hurt anybody. And Iron Fire Horse, it's, like, it's a widely believed that the human body can already grow that right. limbs back. It, they, they can turn off aging to where we would essentially well, be biologically immortal. That stuff's already there. Well, med beds be... would be able to go in using sound and light frequencies to that's turn on to say, those so. DNA, d- that that's DNA what, strands. That's what I was going to say. You, 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 is that the, there's a certain heritage, there's a certain sound wave that can actually he- reheal your genetic yeah, structure. It can, your, yeah. it can stimulate natural healing properties of the body now everything that their technology is based around essentially is meant to try to work in rhythm with nature right Mm -hmm. in theory that means while chances might be slim somebody can already naturally do these things without the need for technology yeah Who's to say that that's not the source of miracles that we see in religion? Somebody there's already some figured it there. out. Mm-hmm. There's some people out there. See, this is the thing. Tell you what happens if these extraterrestrials are among us, which they are. I know that for a fact. They are among us. And some of these extraterrestrials can do what you just said. And then they they, they decide to come, well, to make a miracle. They help somebody, and it was a miracle. God's come down and helped that kid, but it's not really it's that aliens helped because they can do that. Think about it. Yes, for those who came over from Elena's side, I understand your densities, but as we try to toss around, you know, these beings are from higher dimensions. Yeah. Are you familiar with the uh, flatline clip from Carl Sagan? I've heard the Buddha. Okay. I think I've seen it. Basic concept. Yeah. You can find it on YouTube very easily. I think I've seen that. Basically, it brings up a scenario where we see a world that's occupied by two dimensional creatures, how we as three dimensional can see into everything. Yes. A fourth dimensional being could easily look into our bodies as easy as they were looking at a a painting Mm -hmm. and be able to say, Oh, Chris, you have a mass somewhere in your shoulder blade right there that you probably need to get checked out. Yeah. 
it does not look good. It'd be kind of like how s- certain dogs have been known to smell out strokes. That's shame. They can tell where the blockage is or where the cancer cells are. We already have we have the basic infancy to pull off miracles, ladies and gentlemen. So why aren't we actually doing it? Because of a couple of things. Because of the people in power, the greedy buggers that they are, they want to sell their drugs. The, the pharmaceutical companies that mm-hmm, the pharmaceutical companies that can make like a, a a drug that fights cancer for like ten cents a pill and then sells it for like five hundred dollars a pill. Speaking of which, last episode we recorded, we got into talking about AI. Yes. Guess what AI medical bots just did? What's that? It is believed they may have figured out a cure for several forms of cancer. Mm. Do do. What do you think will happen there? Do you think they'll cover that up and then try and flog his drugs that don't work? They're gonna try because it's there's a lot. It's a lot more lucrative to treat cancer than it is to cure it. This has well been well known for quite some time. You make more money from cancer treatments, mm-hmm. making that individual sick, degrading may- their body with the radiation through experimentations that were brought over from the fucking Nazis. That's right. Then it is. You can the you can the radiation treatment does me harm you. Oh yeah, it does. It's you know, the whole it's you the have chemotherapy the, and stuff. Eh? I mean, now granted. If I'm not mistaken, the human body can survive a lot if undergone the right amount of duress. Did you know that there is a Japanese man who is still alive to this day who survived the bombings of both Hiroshima and Nagasaki? That's right. That is, I, that's right. He's I. still alive and kicking. <laughs> this shows you. And, I mean, I hopefully, hopefully the bombs will never ever get detonated again. Mm-hmm. I actually, I actually w- w- watched an interesting program last night. I don't know if I mentioned it to you in the chat when I was talking to you. There's, you know, that in Russia when the Soviet Union collapsed, you ever heard of the uh, kind of power generator where they heat it up and it makes electricity? It's a yeah. type of generator <laughs> in Russia because see how they had remote lighthouses, mm-hmm. right? All along its like coasts and stuff, and and radiators they actually use uranium. Nuclear ones, ones mm-hmm. the very same ones that like, paraffin lamps are said to was nuclear, mm-hmm. and still to this day, people are finding there was actually a case where a couple of log workers 10 years ago found one, but they didn't know what it was. And they thought, This is getting off great heat. I mean, it's minus 40. Let's put it next to the campfire. The three of them suffered severe radiation burns. Oh, yeah, severe. Sadly, one of them passed away because it was that bad. See all these, all this nuclear stuff, all these nuclear power stations. They're a good idea, but I think we need to get rid of them. I think we need to do down the road of like fusion power. And see, they say that they've managed to start. Did you see that? It was I think it was months ago. They said that they've actually managed to a fusion power power station. Right? I yeah, think China. they've already. I th- I I think they've already figured this out. Right? I think they've got working ones there that can make electricity oh, yeah. no problem at all. And the Chinese already, we, yeah, yeah. The, it was China that brought that out that they managed to sustain <laughs> a fusion reaction that was several times hotter than the surface of the sun, yeah. than the core of the sun. Even well, they only it's... held it for a few seconds, but though it was so much power that night went into day. Here's the thing: as someone who's personally been to China and experienced their pollution, yeah. There's been several years where the pollution got so bad in China, they had to ban their fireworks displays because essentially, if they were to light off firework, it, they were they may as well napalm their entire population. I, it was that bad. What I will say about the human race is we have got so much hidden away. Things that people have invented. And yes, people have invented engines that run in water. They've disappeared. Oh, yeah. There's, they died under the guy, mysterious circumstances. Did you see the one where the guy invented the blowtorch? And when it was burning, 
you could actually hold the end there and it wasn't hot, right? Mm -hmm. But as soon as you put it over any type of metal, anything, it burnt right through it. Mm -hmm. Do you know he disappeared? And do you know what powered that? Water. It poured water into the petrol tank to power it. One of the mass shootings in Brooklyn, can, a lot of people found it kind of ironic that the person who went on TikTok mm -hmm. and showed people how to utilize hydrogen power in their engines through the use of salt and water. Yes. All of a sudden, he, he was one of the victims. Now, yep. here's another thing. The water crisis. We're running out of mm -hmm. water. Yeah, we have the technology. We have the technology to pull the salt from the ocean, yes, and make more than enough fresh water. We have it, but why don't we? Desalination do plant. In fact, in fact, Israel mm -hmm. has what the biggest plant right now yes. to do just that. Why don't Saudi we do Arabia. it more? Why don't Saudi we do it Arabia more? Too. Exactly. Like desal why? Desalination plants. Exactly. Why don't we do it more? I will, it does use quite a lot of power, though. Did you know that? Exactly. It uses, yes, it it, uses not exact, that was the point that I was leading into. It yeah. costs more to bring in the energy. Who's going to pay for the energy? It's not lucrative enough. That's why it's, we don't do it. Even I though mean, no, we could solve the world's resource issues, we can get, make sure the people in Africa who yeah. need, who have to walk miles to try to find some kind of clean source of water or be able to provide for the towns that are dealing with chemical spills that pe these companies mm -hmm. are trying to cover up here in the States, we could easily fix it all. But it's not here lucrative that, enough. As an interesting thing I learned the other day there, and I was watching this, and I didn't know this right. Let's talk about Africa for a minute. How long would you say that they've had famines for? Quite some time. How long would you say? Say 50 years at least. 50? More than that. Hundreds oh, yeah. of years. When the, when the British settlers went into it, they were having famines. Right? Mm -hmm. because, let's face it, it's a desert. They're trying to grow stuff where stuff can't grow. Right? It's always been famines in that area now, see if you to build one of these like fusion reactors small enough to like a desalination plant and like pump the water in can you imagine the difference that would make mm -hmm. I mean we just need we just need our friends to come and basically free us because the governments that's in charge the new are no going to let us I mean, uh, here's something that not a lot of people know. Did you know that companies can actually be fined if their products <laughs> work too good? If they work too good. Say like the uh, light bulb, I believe it's, out of, it's in a firehouse in Chicago. That's been on for over 100 years and still bright as ever. Really? I don't yeah. know that. You know, the whole phrase, they don't make them like they used to, that's a thing. Because they realize they more make more money when people are lazy and just try to buy replacements instead of trying to fix them. I watched a program the other night. I, I watch a lot of like, uh, engineering programs and stuff because I find it fascinating. And there's actually, a, I can't, it's in California, there's a company that's it's invented this machine that basically sucks petroleum from the air okay, you, you heard of this it mm -hmm. sucks the petroleum there and you can add every car needs to be modified but it's, it's it doesn't cost much it was like 50 dollars or something to modify your engine to use this stuff and do you know what comes out of the exhaust water vapor mm -hmm. you can do it to diesel cars petrol cars water mm -hmm. vapor so you could take like, like say for instance you could take like your car the new Dakota put that modification on $50, right? When it goes. And you could fill the tank up basically with this new type of fuel and all that would come out the back of your exhaust was water vapour. But no, they decide to sell you these electric cars that are more harmful than you could possibly imagine. Okay. See, lithium, ladies and gentlemen, see lithium, it's very explosive. 
A lot of mm-hmm. nuclear cars that go in fire, and you can't put it out with water. You cannot put a lithium fire out with water. You've got to use a special foam because it burns. Oh yeah, um, a certain way. But here's an actual interesting fact that a lot of you will know, right? With your cell phones and stuff like that. And this has got to last laugh at these protesters going on about oil and stuff like that. And they're all got the latest iPhones and stuff and the Samsung phones. See the lithium in the back of your phone? It's mined in China. It's mined around the world, right? And they basically use slave labor to get this cobalt and lithium mm-hmm. for your smartphone. It needs to end. The cost of let's let's pick on you, Mr. Apple products. I I'll leave Apple if, products. Say if all of the production for the latest iPhones were to be done in the US, not utilizing slave labor out of China. Yes. You realize how much that would cost how much the phones would likely cost to hit retail shelves? Oh god. Couple <clears> thousand <throat> lot. minimum. Couple yes. thousand minimum. Yep. I'm I was, like, I was about to say, did, did mean, we just lose you? <laughs> I mean and no, 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 I had to cough. I, I couldn't breathe there all of a sudden. Um, I had to cough there. But anyway, um, yeah, do you know in China they've actually got position. suicide nets? They've actually got yeah. suicide nets running about the factories. Right, I will say this about Apple, right? Apple products, right, and I'm no a salesman. If you're watching, please uh, contact Bob and Bonkers for a sponsorship. But anyway, I just I thought I'd just say that. God. Um, <laughs> but just, just, just listen to this, right? See, Apple products, I will say they last longer than normal products. The day, the day, the last longer, right? When considering they purposely program the batteries to degrade over time, after All like right, no, three if you look years after of use, it, if you look after it, you can get that replaced. You can get that replaced. Well, what about all these phones nowadays on both Android and iPhone, where everything is glued together? You can't access it without. I will admit that. Right. taking a sledgehammer. I'll admit that, right? My Apple phone is there, right? As see, when you take it out, this is a life-proof case, right? It protects it from water and stuff, right? See when you see when you take it out, this case, it's just like a blocky glass, right? Mm-hmm. There's there's no holes in it. There's the power port at the bottom. Yeah, I, I can charge it wirelessly, but I've got it set up so I can watch YouTube on it the new. But and they're waterproof, right? That's the only way you're going to get like total waterproofness, right? I will say we do need to start coming away and no using as much products. I think people are needing to like buy a phone and keep it for maybe eight years. And I know people, do you know, I know people, right? And this is this is no joke, right? They spend every time an iPhone comes out, they buy the latest one. You, they've actually they showed us the the open the no me no I've st- I, I've had that phone for three years now <laughs> two years, but I, I know people it's be a world record that have spent nearly forty thousand pounds on Apple products in the last seven years. Mm-hmm. They've got everything. They've got the app, the Mac. They've got the the iPads. They've got the phone. They've got everything. Mm-hmm. Every time a new phone comes out, like see, say say the iPhone 13 came out, the Bota Pro, right? Seven months later, the iPhone 14 came out, the Bota, and they just keep mm-hmm. buying them. And I don't see the point in that because my iPhone 12 does exactly the same as what the iPhone 14 does. Yes, the iPhone 14 camera might be a slightly better, but that's about that. That's about it. Yeah. And and it's it's a throwaway society we live in. It's a throwaway exactly. society. I mean, this is something we brought up on several occasions <clears throat> that anything that is truly innovative that would help people get suppressed. Say, like I was about like eight nine years old when there was news reports coming out about a certain type of bacteria found that completely stops tooth decay. Mm-hmm. You would essentially <laughs> never have to really. Bro- yeah, I know. But like you said, we have several new people here. Mm. So we we can get away with repeating certain things. Oh, I, you wouldn't essentially never have to brush your teeth again. Where did that go? Electric cars. We've had those. The surface in some in America. 
electric cars. We've had that for over a hundred years oh, now. Sure. There's been a yeah. Look, electric cars are a good idea, right? But the batteries technology we have the new is shit, right? Mm-hmm. I could see the point if you had an electric car, right? Where like maybe a fusion drive inside the car, like a small reactor inside the car, but you could get like four or five hundred bears. See the thing about the electric cars, if you buy an electric car, right, you have to play this new game that's been invented. It's called the PowerPoint, find the PowerPoint charging location. Yeah. Because I know somebody that bought a Tesla, right? They bought a Tesla, 90 odd thousand pounds for like the basic model. And there's only one place they can charge it outside their house. And they they had to wait in a car park for two hours to the bloody hang charged up. So it's basically on the journey again. I can go to my car the new full tank of petrol, get in there and drive in there like six, seven hundred miles in that tank of fuel. Not stopping once. Mm-hmm. And an electric car doing that, they're going to have to go, stop, wait for an hour, go, stop, wait for an hour, go, stop, wait for an hour. Now, consider that, say, like here in the States, you have states like California that are trying to push for all electric cars. The wiring in those things can't handle the salt that comes out of the ocean yeah. that's in the air. It yeah. can't. It, it degrades the system. And if those things lose power completely, the the motor that runs the damn charging port won't work to where you, you can't charge it. You can't even put it to park because all of it, literally every aspect of it is electric. That's right. I mean, it's like you say, you know, put in a little fusion reaction. What happens if someone with these fusion cars, as you propose, gets into an accident? Boom. I mean, think about you it. You obviously make it say, hey, but that's the thing about fusion. Fusion is safer than nuclear. With, with fusion power, Still. there's no radiation. That's the thing. There is. There's a very, very small amount. Did you know that Americans in the 1960s actually built a car that had a nuclear reactor on it? Yep. And a truck. Yep. You could basically drive around America non-stop. Mm-hmm. But it had a nuclear reactor with plutonium or uranium. Can you imagine the like that? that? That's another thing. There is radioactive material that is completely safe. Thorium produces mm-hmm. no waste, and it's actually yeah. has it's more potent than uranium. Doesn't yeah. produce harmful waste. Completely natural. Yeah. Why do they not use that? Because they would rather use the other stuff than it that pollutes. Now, now, now granted, you, you can find <clears throat> natural uranium deposits. It can be. It can be done. That it's relatively safe. You can buy fucking uranium on Amazon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, CIA or the FBI would like to talk to the court about is buying uranium, please contact Bald and Bonkers Network, LLC. Uh, I'm sure he'll email you back. <laughs> and here's another thing. <laughs> going Talking about car accidents, all these vehicles... Or damn near all plastic to where if they get in a serious enough wreck, there's you're essentially a you fireball. Know, Back was, in the 30s, we had steel right that was several times more effective and it was yeah. made from hemp. I'm going to tell you they actually started making hemp things now that you can actually buy a lot of hemp. Yeah, it, it's now. starting to come back, but that was that was back in the but, we already had that back in the 30s. He, here's here's an interesting thing, right? I, I, I seen I, I was I was driving into my village oh a couple of months ago. And I seen a, a brand spanking new, it was a Hyundai. It was beautiful looking motor, but it was electric and it was abandoned at the side of the road. Right? Four days later, it was still sitting there. Mm-hmm. Right? It broke down. It had ran out of charge. Oh, yeah. Eventually, they came to take it away, but they couldn't tow it because of all the four electric motors in it. You can't uh-huh. tow it. A machine had to come on, pick it up, and put it on the back of a flatbed truck. Here's an interesting fact for all you guys there that what and this is a and I was told about this, and this will blow your mind. See when you rent a car out, right? Be very careful when you rent out an electric car. Mm-hmm. And especially in Britain, I don't know if it's the same in America. I was talking to a garage owner near me, and it was always going to call outs 
because they don't see when you when you get you pick up your rental car, right? They don't give you the charging cable. Mm-hmm. So what you meant today? That he's like he says I've been in fifteen call outs this week, picking up cars that have ran out of electricity. Do you know for the for the cable it's three hundred three hundred pounds you've got to pay, but you get it back if you get the cable, if you've got the cable, and some people just take the car, don't think about the electric, and drive off mm-hmm. into the sunset, never to be seen again. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That goes to prove the point. I mean, here in the states, right? You, you <laughs> probably hear it was like you were giving me grief because I had to, because I'm the main one that all the legal paperwork goes through. I'm the oh. one that has to file taxes every quarter. The yeah, boss? I'm the one it all bounces to. Yeah, I'm the. One, I had to just deal with you know personal taxes. You gave me the remarks like you, you actually have to do taxes. The, your government doesn't just do it for you. Uh, like here in the states, no. Why is that the case? Because H companies like H and R Block wanted to make money. Health insurance are the reason why hospitals charge out the ass. Yeah, we've been epically screwed over. Oh yeah, yeah certainly makes you wonder we've been screwed over for years you know so here a question for you what's on the show tomorrow night what amazing things are are, are, are amazing viewers going to be watching we, tomorrow night we may not do it live we may i don't know we'll see but mm. we have dave bender's wife and coming on yes you know, Drew could just stop laughing in the chat when I tell them about Dave Bender. His last name. I'm guessing your brother is. No, no, I'm not talking about Drew. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about Drew, my brother. Oh. I'm talking about and Drew, you know, there. Uh, you Drew's have three. You have like Scotland. three different Drews around you, man. It's hard to keep that, track. Wait, 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 I know I'll show you the, the culprit. This is the Put it here when I mentioned when I mentioned the uh, yeah the one Bender that ironically looks name. like the AI demon everybody freaks out about. Mm. So this is it. Okay, I mean, I mean it's a strange Don't... demon. Or... What Drew? Yeah, no, no Ben. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, but you know, I can help. It's he was a, a fascinating. He was a fascinating guy. Absolutely amazing guy. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night for the show. Yeah, he's already said he's he's already said when I sent him the links for when his thing started to drop that he was more than willing to come back on. So, yep. so we'll, we'll see what the future on. holds. I'm gonna be getting more of the old Ghost Squad Scotland or something. Like you know, speaking of you know, like the whole energy thing. Hmm. You know, something, somebody that we should probably aim for, I have a rough idea on where to start looking, but what would be kind of awesome if we managed to land? Who? Bob Lazar. <gasps> Bob Lazar. Last I heard, he's actually running an energy company out of Oregon. Mm. 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 That'd be an there interesting wink, conversation, wink, wouldn't it? Nudge, nudge. Yeah, we'll have snipers fixed on our position, black helicopters you know, you know, circling in the house. Do you know what would be really good with that interview? Bob Lazar and Elena. Ooh. Can you imagine bringing That's just Elena? asking for uh, people to Can start going to Can you imagine Elena together with Bob Lazar? Yeah. <laughs> That's just asking for people to disappear, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, just, I mean, think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll remember Dakota if he disappears one night. We'll we'll, we'll have a a small ceremony for you once a year. But we'll remember you. Once a year? I'm the fucking CEO, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) I built this bitch! (laughs) Oh, God. I, I I think it would be really good. It's like you're Getting not fucking out. you're not fucking pulling a you know Steve Jobs at what Steve Wozniak on me. I'll whoop yeah. the 
out of you. You know, I do you know something, Tate? I was gonna I was gonna say, ladies and gentlemen, there's a there's a PayPal link in Baldwin Bonkers if you would like to donate because Dakota wants to go to a special UFO event in the in the in the, the winter the time. Isn't it? Com- well, it's out in Florida, so that's not much of a concern. But donations are completely optional. You know, we're not gonna tell you we are, we have merch stores to raise money to help keep the company going because we have a lot of stuff yes. that we're wanting to put forward. A lot of amazing things coming on board. And it's, I said that we were gonna offer up to be an open house tonight, but no, everybody wanted to be a big chicken about it. Oh, oh well. With that, you should put a PayPal Cash App link up, guys. It's in the description. It's in the description, guys. So if there's a million multi-millionaires that wants to buy Dakota a hair transplant, please visit that link. And uh, Hair transplant? What about you? you buy you a ticket to Brazil so you can live out... Three. There's one there. You can live out your fantasies with Brazilian men there, Chris. I I saw the description. Look, 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 look. It was you that went in and changed that. That was disgraceful. Disgraceful. Did you know, ladies and gentlemen, that Dakota is going on a Brazilian radio show? That's going to be really interesting. Can you... What's the channel? What's the channel for that? Oh, God. I... I, I would have to There's dig out some mad link, crazy but, name that I can't. But yeah, it's they. Mm. Hey, they had Elena on. So they managed to work with Elena. So, but yes, uh, mm-hmm. I believe it's this coming Friday. I am going to be recording an interview for a show that's out of Brazil, which is it's going to be very interesting because it'll be officially the first time I've ever had to work with an interpreter. <laughs> Will you be playing it in the bold and bonkers scene? No, because it's going to be—it's all going to be in Portuguese, man. Um, it's, it's going to be quite funny because be, no, I'm going to watch it anyway because obviously you're going to be speaking um, English, well, you know, Chris. What? They're they're going to dub my voice. So it's going to kind of look like old Godzilla films. So it's going to be like. like Hey, so it's got to be like this today live he will come from outer space so again, the had, the, this, this group actually had Elena on and apparently um, apparently they saw the interview when I was on with Elena so mm-hmm. yeah. they already had an interpreter lined up they, I, I just need had to say this yes channel. I want to watch it just to see the dubbing because I think it'll be awesome once I once I know more, you'll know more. Right. Because there's all I will probably be making a movie announcement here very soon. Yeah, yeah. You know, that a movie that. I filmed just before a f- thing I filmed before quarantine is getting ready to release from the sounds of it. Mm. And we have a new book that's in the Baldwin Bonkers lineup. <gasps> What's that? It's the sexual exploitations of Christopher Mole. Yes, and it's uh, yeah. It's only oh, one, page it? long. one page long. <laughs> and full no, of no, pictures. No, 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 no. It's uh, I wanted to start trying to put together some sort of resources because when it comes to situations like disclosure, ghost hunting, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to ask questions and who may want to take the reins and go exploring themselves. So I created a special journal for people to document their experiences in. And towards the end of it, it'll be available on Amazon. It'll be, there'll be physical and digital eBooks. And towards the end of it, if you decide to take on an official investigations platform, you'll. I also threw in a easy to use template that helped out some of our members that were getting screwed over by some of our former associates. Mm. Mm. I think that'll be awesome, you know. But yeah, I'm looking comes... forward to. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night because I think it's got to be a very interesting night tomorrow. It comes out May fifth. Be sure to watch all of the Bald and Bonkers links. Telegram, yeah. you know, we have a Telegram group, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. YouTube, obviously, Rumble, Bumble. Is Elena no, post in there? Is there Elena post in there? Or is it you that Telegram? posts for Elena on Telegram? 
Yeah. How, how do you think I get the stuff from her? She has her own channel on there. I didn't know that. There you go. Yeah. We sat Drew's the day before my birthday. There you oh. go. Oh. The cool old dress up and sing you a happy birthday song. Bust out the walkers. Mm. Yes. So I think tonight's been awesome, you know. So what are you doing oh, the yeah. rest of the night, Dakota? Are you going to the, the KFC to get yourself a KFC bucket? Well, I feel like I should do something because today's actually an anniversary for me. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. What's their anniversary? 13 years ago, I uh, went on my first official public investigation. Mm -hmm. I started stepping out doing this type should, of stuff and you should put a video together and put it out there you know there's a video that's been rendering for about 24 hours already mm -hmm. see you beat me to it ladies and gentlemen it beat and me no it, it, it's, it's another episode of hidden files this one goes mm -hmm. more into how to contact and what to watch out for mm -hmm. if you something bet, goes you put, sideways did you put your contact number below people will be like i Ten reptilian shapeshifters visit me in the night and they take me away to the special planet. I'm telling you. Look, the uh, people contacting you. You know? And, and if anybody wonders, you know, why you know, today is so special, is because my first client just ha was happened to be my late grandfather who ended up helping me get my start. So, Look honor at his I memory. I am says he's happy 13th. Oh. Yes, I'm only 27. I've been at this since I was 14. I pretty much look the Again? same as I do now. So, Again, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that he's actually younger than me. Did you did you know somebody actually thought I was younger? What do you mean, 12? <laughs> <laughs> who said you were younger? Yeah, someone who commented on one of the Hidden Files episodes. Mm. They, uh... They they said that they honestly thought I was younger than I actually am. It's like that's a first. <laughs> oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Strange not that I was offended, it's just I'm not oh, used to it. You know. Ah, oh well. <laughs> I must admit that, that video you done on uh, Friday's nearly up to two thousand views. I mean that was through that was Elena that posted that in her site, she, didn't she? Yeah, she posted it on her telegram, on mm -hmm. her YouTube. Yeah. She was there watching it and uh she apparently said I did a good job. So, you know, someone with her credentials. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you when we see you. And hopefully the aliens will come in the night and take you all away. That's how I ended up with three kids, man. Be careful what you say. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the Bald and Bonkers show. If you enjoyed the show and want to show your support, head over to our website at baldandbonkers.net. There, you'll find our merch, services, and more. Thanks for being part of the Bald and Bonkers family, and we'll see you on the next episode. And remember, always keep an open mind and an open heart.